is everyone doing and i hope you are all doing great so the glory of god it's your girl claire and um, i am back here today again with a few words of encouragement but before i dive into the video i am your girl claire and i remain your girl claire so i just want to use this opportunity to say a big thank you to every one of you who has been supportive to everyone who has been here to listen to my videos to watch my videos i just want to say may god bless you may the good lord keep um upholding you may he keep preserving you even in a time like this that we are going through difficult times you know we all know the bible already talked about those times but you know thank god for the word of god jesus prepared us um you know before he left this world to reign in heaven which we all know he's still reigning he's still king <laughs> and he is still the lord of lords so he prepared us you know before he left he left us words of encouragement you know which we ought to live by so thank god for the word of god so i just want to thank every one of you and i just want to say stay strong and be encouraged in the lord and um keep focusing on the word of god and keep building up your most holy faith in god and be prepared for the coming of our lord jesus christ i love every one of you and i am truly thankful but i am most grateful to the almighty god um who has brought me this far who has kept me up till now and i just give him all the glory and all the honor because he is faithful at all times he is just um, amazing he's such an awesome god and he's you know just incomparable i, I can't just talk about you know my life you know without talking about him he is the very air that i breathe he is the very reason for which i live so i just want to say a big thank you to god almighty for his grace upon our lives thank god for your life thank god for my life thank god for every one of us and we will keep pushing and we will keep going because we know that there is um, a glorious future ahead for every one of us we will see him someday just as he is and i hope you will be there <laughs> when we will all meet you know with our lord and savior jesus god bless you all and from my heart of hearts thank you and i love you all god bless you for all your support jesus loves you too i want you to see it this way when jesus said to his disciples in the book of matthew 28 verse 20 part b of it when he said to them lo i am with you always even till the end of time even till the end of the age he meant every word he said to them he wasn't just blabbing he wasn't just ranting he just wasn't just talking for the sake of talking's sake he was not just trying to make them feel good he wasn't making vain promises he meant every word of it he said, I will be with you always, not for a while, not for some time. He was not saying, I will take you to some point and leave you and forsake you. He was not trying to say when there is a situation or when the circumstances of life, um, you know, beseech you or you are faced with circumstances and situations. He was not saying, I will leave you and forsake you. He was trying to say, whether you are up on the mountain, I will be with you always. Whether you are down in the valley, I will be with you always. No matter what you're faced with, I will be with you always. He was trying to say, irrespective of what comes your way, in the good times, in the bad times, I will forever and for eternity be with you always, even till the end of time. In other words, it's an eternity thing. Thing. 
it was something that was you know not temporary he was not trying to say i will be with you for just a while and then i'll just leave you and go and rest no he was saying i will take you all the way i will be with you at all times i will always be there irrespective of what comes your way irrespective of what lies uh, li lies ahead of you he was trying to say don't be moved by the circumstances of life. Don't be moved by what you're faced with because I, your God, I will be with you. Because he knew that we were going to face situations and circumstances as long as we are here in this wicked world, in this dark world. He knew that circumstances and situations will come along our way to try to discourage us, to try to, you know, cause, uh, cause us to be anxious or to, you know, have anxiety and depression and all that. So he was trying to prepare us ahead of time. And that was why he made that promise. It was a promise. And it was not just a promise, it was the truth. Because he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So he was making a promise that was based on truth. I will be with you forever. If it's an eternity thing, it's not just a temporal thing. So hold on to the truth of God's word that says he is with you. No matter what comes your way, no matter what you're faced with, he will always, always, not for some time and not at some point, but always he will be with you till the end of time. God bless you. The system of this world will fail. The media will fail. The government will fail. Everything in life is subject to change. Everything in life will fail. The only person that will not change and is not subject to change is the creator of all things. If you walk with this consciousness, then you won't be moved by the things that you hear, the things that you see, or the things happening around you. Because there is a greater on the inside of you. And that greater says to you, No, I will be with you at all times, even till the end of time. When you are up there, I am with you. When you are down in the valley, I am with you. When you walk through the road that is dangerous, I will be with you. When, you know, trouble surrounds you, I will be with you. In the good times and the bad times, I will be with you. Forever and ever, I will be with you. It's all about trusting the one that gave this word. And if you hold on to the fruit of God's word, you will not be moved when things begin to happen around you or in your life that do not align with the word of God concerning your life. Like I said, the social media has failed and will always fail. The media, all they do is keep bringing news that are scary, news that are very fast, you know, to, to spread. They keep bringing in the negative news because they want their views. They want people to watch the news. But Jesus knew that all this will come at some point in our lives. And he prepared us for what is, you know, coming and what lies ahead even before he left this world and that was why he gave that statement you know he made that promise to his disciples to his followers that he will never leave them no matter what comes their way that no matter what they will face in the cost of serving him in the cost of following in the cost of trusting him in the cost of you know having faith in him he prepared them to know that he will always be with them. There is a greater on the inside of you. Don't hold on to the facts of life. The news media, yes, they have facts, but facts are not the truth. As long as, you know, they keep bringing in news that will make people to be hopeless, news that will scare people, 
news that will not encourage people, then those are just facts and not the fruit. The fruit is the word of God. And what is the truth? That irrespective of what you face, there is hope for you. Irrespective of what you're going through, there is hope for you. In Christ, there is freedom. The Bible says, him whom the Son has set free is what is free indeed. Liberty is in Christ Jesus. Liberty is in God alone. The system of the world has failed and will always fail. Right now, we are all inside our homes. No freedom. Think about it. There is freedom only in God. There is freedom only in Christ Jesus. Freedom and liberty to be who God wants you to be. So right where you are, be the one that God wants you to be. Don't fret. Don't be discouraged because you know the truth and not just the fact. The fact is that there is a disease or plague or pestilence or whatever they call it out there you know taking lives destroying lives causing people to panic those are just mere facts there are figures that has been presented to us that are not that are not even you know truth but the truth is what god says and what is that the greater he is in you for greater is he that is in us than he that is in the word. That is the fruit. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That is the word of God. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. So the truth is that no matter what is out there destroying lives, no matter the name it has been given that has taken the freedom from the word, taken the liberty of the masses and people all around the globe. Freedom is in Christ Jesus. Liberty is in Christ Jesus. You are faced with challenging times and situations. Remember the fruit that you have always believed in. Hold on to that fruit. Reach out to the word of God concerning the situation. And you will not live in fear. You will not live in anxiety. You will not live in, you know, live panicking. Because you know there is someone on the inside that is greater than whatever may be. In the Bible, we all know the story of David and Goliath. It was the fact that Goliath was a giant. The people of Israel knew the facts and that was why they were afraid of Goliath. The fact was that nobody could confront Goliath. It was a fact. The Israelites knew that none of them could stand Goliath. That was the fact. Goliath himself knew that nobody could defeat him in battle. That was a fact. But David knew the truth. The difference between the truth and the fact. David knew the truth. And what was the truth? He knew that he was in a covenant with Jehovah, the great I am. He knew that the one that he carried on the inside was greater than any giant that was before him. David was not moved by the fact that Goliath was tall, huge, and could bring down anyone. David was not moved by the fact that Goliath can never be defeated in a battle. David knew the truth, and because he knew the truth, he could stand up to Goliath. And that was why when he stood before Goliath, he was not afraid. He was not panicking. There was this confidence, you know, that was just in him that he could bring down Goliath because of the spirit of the almighty God that indwelt him. David was not moved by the fact. He was, that was why he was not afraid. But the people of Israel were afraid because they looked at the appearance of Goliath. They felt nothing, you know, in this world could stand before Goliath. They knew the fact that Goliath was huge and big enough, you know, to slay anyone who dare challenges him. And Goliath himself knew the facts. He knew that nobody 
could challenge him among the Israelites. And that was why he kept terrorizing them. That was why he kept bullying them, you know. But one day, David, who knew the truth, because it takes you knowing the truth to stand up to the challenges of life and whatever you are faced with, to say, mm -mm -mm. I have God on the inside of me. I know whom I serve. I know the one that I follow. When you know this, because David knew that they had freedom in God. He knew that they had liberty in God. So who is this uncircumcised uh, 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 Philistine to defy the people of the Most High God? So irrespective of what is going on today, don't be moved by what we are faced with. There is a greater on the inside of it. That is why you should stand up to whatever it is that comes to torment you. Come against the spirit of fear. Come against the spirit of anxiety. David was able to slay Goliath because he knew the truth. The truth sets you free. The truth that you know does what sets you free. So hold on to the truth. Cling on to the truth of God's word. The truth will prevail in the times of difficulties. The truth will prevail in a time of challenges that was what happened in the case of david and goliath there is a greater on the inside of you and that is the truth no matter how many people you know it is happening to if you are a child of god you can be sure that no evil shall come near your dwelling and no pestilence will take you down god bless you and see you in my next video but remember to always hold on to the truth and not the news out there, you know, the scary news, the news that brings about fear, that generates fear, the news that, you know, spreads very quickly just because, you know, they, they want people to watch, they want people to set their gaze on the news and become scared and panic and fear and, you know, be in a, 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 a condition where they are no longer themselves. Remember, God's got you. God bless you. And bye-bye. See you in my next video. And I love you. Bye-bye.